Hello and welcome to Prague. Today we're going to show you three coolest places, some of the best rated in Prague, that have something in common. Uh, the access to them doesn't look good, but trust me, the places themselves are amazing. Follow me this way. We are in a coffee place that is called the coffee place looking for its name, still looking for its name. And I actually remember when they were building it here. This used to be a storage for something and we were uh, scratching the walls here, uh, making it nicer and eventually it became this and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful garden, beautiful on the inside and it's very, very popular, uh, especially for their breakfasts, these eggs benedict. And when I say popular, not only among locals, but also among uh, famous bands, for example, Lumineers are coming here uh, quite often to have these eggs benedict. The sauce on this is probably the best thing I ever had. Uh, you can get it to go, half a liter with a straw, very good. But please don't ask for that. Fun fact, Honza hates eggs. Dude. Much dobry. Very, very good. We're here on a weekday and they have the breakfast till noon. If you come on a weekend, it's till 3 p.m. And as they state in the menu, uh, you know, you may wait a little longer because there's a lot of people getting this and sometimes there may even be a line to get in, but it usually moves quite fast and it is worth sitting down here. By the way, notice some really cool things in the interior. For example, the bar is from one piece of wood and when they cut it at the top, they use the piece that they cut as a board on the wall over there. Bathrooms are usually a place where you take a selfie uh, in the mirror on your Instagram and this place is very popular for taking a picture in the mirror on your Instagram. <laughs> The next place is in a different part of Prague, but thanks to the tram number 12, we can be there in 30 minutes. We are in a part of Prague called Holeshovice on the street Jelnitska, and here in the inner block is a place called the inner block, Vnitro block in Czech, and it's really something. I remember years ago when this place opened, it was only a coffee place, but now it's much more. They make gin here, there's a lot of clothing from local artists, uh, there's a barber shop, there's a flower shop, sometimes they have exhibitions, and it's really a cool place where you can spend a lot of time. So she doesn't want to give us an interview in English. But this is our friend Katja. Uh, she's the person who's behind all the venues we're showing you today. And so basically you find an ugly place and you turn it into a nice place. Yeah. <laughs> she's shy to speak in English, but we love I'm her. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if by any chance you make it here by October, you can get a coffee, obviously, but you can also get a tree. Yes, if you pay 100 crowns extra with your coffee, they will plant a tree for you somewhere in Prague. And I think that's a really cool idea. So why don't we support it through the video and you can do it while you visit and sip on your coffee. I just grew a tree. And I also forgot to mention they have a beach here. But the next place we're going to show you not only has a beach, but also a pool. 
We are back to where we started this morning with our breakfast. It's just over there. This area is called Angel, and that's another place we want to show you. Once again, surrounded by really weird location, and this used to be the official entrance. Nowadays, they have a better entrance over there through the fence. This place is closest to my home and also closest to my heart. It's called Radlitska Kulturní Sportovna. Originally only that building, we will show you later, but now it expanded to this area and it really is amazing. I actually premiered here my show Prague vs. Crooks in the building, but if that doesn't convince you that it's a good venue, how about that Honza just recently had his wedding right here and it was one hell of a party. And no, he did not marry me, he actually married a wife, a girl, it was awesome. And she jumped into the pool in her wedding dress. And yes, we have footage of that. You may be wondering why it's so empty now. Well, it's because it's 3 p.m. and they're not opening for another hour. But in the evenings, this place is really buzzing and the parties are awesome. So you don't come here for a coffee, you come here for good parties. Originally, this uh, building used to be a warehouse for the nearby uh, train station that is still here, uh, but this was left empty and it was full of garbage, so they had to clean it up. And there's actually a new city being built here next to us, but this will remain here so you can come here for a party. If you want to know when which party is happening, the best way not to miss it is to follow Radlitska Kulturní Sportovna on their Instagram. Link is below in the description. Check out some pictures from the parties. They're really worth it. And of course, Prague is full of history. So even this building, when they were reconstructing it, uh, they found these frescas on the walls with the angels. Uh, they must be from like 12th, 13th century, I'm sure. Uh, there's, you know, the beer, uh, the sledgehammer angel. Really interesting. It's exactly seven years ago when I was here in front of this place next to a barrel with a fire with my friends. There was pretty much nothing here. And it's amazing what they turn these places, not only this one, but the others we showed you, to the state where they're in today. Uh, they found a really abandoned location that was just left to rust and to die, and they gave it new life. Uh, so huge respect to our friend Kacha and her team, hats down, and I hope you will visit the places. The map is below in the description. They are very good rated, not just by us, but by all the people that visit them. So I hope you will also enjoy it. That's it from the Honest Guides, Honzik, Janek, and I'll see you next week on another video. And since today we were showing you hidden places, we're gonna teach you how to say that in Czech. So hidden places are skrytá místa. Hidden place, skryté místo. Skrytá místa, hidden places, skryté místo, hidden place.